Coach, uh, your season's on the line, and Robbie Hummel comes out and hits seven of eight in the first half. Mm -hmm. Talk about him and, and that performance really throughout the entire game. Yeah, well, he was, you know, he was great tonight. He came out in a rhythm, and, um, you know, a lot of people have been putting their biggest guy, you know, on Tyrone Johnson. So you've seen Tyrone be a lot, you know, very aggressive, and you're able to see that in the second half. They ended up doing that with Thomas Robinson and putting him on Tyrone, and so we tried to use that uh, as a mismatch to drive the basketball, and um, they didn't. And so we really thought the mismatch was then with Rob, and so we just tried to get him um, some free looks and screen for him, and then obviously they switched up and, and put Relaford on him and then just didn't help off of him at all. But, you know, he just got into a, you know, a rhythm shooting the basketball, and um, our guys did a good job of finding him. He did a good job moving, and, um, you know, hopefully it can continue. But it's one of those things where Relaford's a great defender, and he's just going to, you know, stick with him. And now other people have got to make plays. And, you know, I, I was happy with some of the things that happened at the end. Obviously, the turnover, and um, we didn't do a, a great job of executing the one play, even though it was there. Um, to score it, um, but we had some shots at the rim. You know, we had a lot of shots at the rim that didn't go down for us, and they were good shots, and that's all you can ask for. No, go ahead. On that possession that I asked Lewis about where he yeah. turned it over, what was the goal of that yeah. possession? Well, I, I, I don't know if I got the right possession. Uh, we, we ran something to get to the rim, and he was there. Then he just, like he said, he didn't feel comfortable taking that, but – um, he had a pretty good angle um, to get there. Then, then we had him isolated at the end. So I, sometimes I'll go to a timeout at that time. But we had the ball in our point guard's hands, and then obviously, you know, the, the play broke down. And we ran the next play then for Rob, like he talked about, to, to to bring him off a pin down for a shot, and they overplayed it. So he just, you know, he he back cut off of it, or just kind of slid to the side, or faded, or however you want to call it. And then he ended up getting that shot. Um, from it, but the first one we were, we were trying to get Lou to the rim. The second one we we're trying to bring Rob. If Lou couldn't get to the rim, bringing him off that uh, that pin down. Yeah, stay right here, Matt. Stay right here. Then we'll go to the right. Coach, I I mean this in the most positive sense. Purdue probably isn't capable of recruiting the amount of talent that a Kansas, a Duke, a Carolina can get on a year in and year out basis. So talk about your philosophy and just how difficult it must be to get your kids to play with maximum effort every single possession of every single game uh -huh. just so you can be in a game like this. Yeah. Well, they, you know, they play hard too. You know, obviously they've won eight straight Big 12 championships. And, um, you know, I don't think he has a McDonald's All-American on his team. So you've got to give Bill Self and Kansas a lot of credit. This isn't a team, you know, loaded with four or five guys. Now they got some guys that have developed into NBA prospects. I think you gotta, um, you know, give them credit for that too. Sometimes that gets lost in the shuffle. But um, I, mean, I think our staff's done a good job of, of recruiting, you know, guys that fit at Purdue. Um, as long as it continues to be a team sport, you know, sometimes the individual talent um, doesn't match up. You know, sometimes you can get guys that help others. I think Rob, you know, he makes other people better. You know, I think that's a true test. I think the kid in Indiana, Cody Zeller, he makes other people better. I think Lewis Jackson makes other people better. Uh, that's what a good basketball player does. And sometimes certain guys might not have some of the abilities of other guys, but thinking the game and passing and catching, making an open shot, being coachable, you know, those things are pretty important. And you might not be able to go out and get the most athletic guy in the world, but you can get a coachable guy. You can get a skill guy. Um, you can get somebody who really wants to be at Purdue. And if you're going to get somebody that really wants to be at your place, it normally works for them. On the right-hand side, Coach. Uh, Coach, I know perspective can be tough at a time like this, but um, yeah. what would you like to see your players take out of a game like this, a memorable game? Could have gone either way, hard yeah. fought. Well, I think it's important, and I talked about it. Um, I, I thought we uh, did some things at the end of the St. Mary's game. Um, that just you know didn't make a whole lot of sense. You know we had some breakdowns in the game and offensively turned the ball over. And I talked about getting back in the same position, and then making some plays. And I, and I thought we did make some plays at the end. Uh, we just didn't make enough. We had a couple breakdowns there offensively where we didn't get the one shot um, that we wanted, and then we had the turnover. But um, you know I just think you learn from it. Um, it should make you want to you know work even harder in the summer to get better to 
Because nothing, you know, there's nothing guaranteed you're going to get back here. You know, you still got to fight to get back here, then get back into that kind of situation in a game, and then you know make a couple more plays to, to hopefully pull out the victory. But I'm I'm proud of our guys. They they fought, and um, they did everything they could. We're under four minutes. Question in the back. Matt, could you just talk about the the impact that Robbie has had on Purdue basketball? It seemed for a while he just he didn't want his own career to end tonight. Right. Um, you know he's he's one of the best I've been around. I mean, he's a great person. He works very hard. He, he's made a huge impact. Um, you know, on our program, just you know, just by doing the right thing, coming every day, coming early, staying late, working hard, um, not making excuses, not feeling sorry for himself. Just he has a lot of qualities, um, you know, that you would want in, in one of your own kids, and um, and there's nothing fake about it. You know, he he really, you know, you know, he he just he just wants Purdue to win. And uh, when he came to Purdue, he was first team All Big Ten his first year. He said at the end of the season, he said, if I could have played 10 minutes, man, I'd have been excited because I was just worried I wasn't going to play. And, uh, you know, that's just, that's just kind of how he is. Question on the left. Kansas had a lot of support in the building tonight. Uh, how much effect do you think that had on the game, especially at the end? Can you repeat the first part? I'm sorry. I would just said Kansas had a lot of support in the crowd tonight. Yeah. How much of an effect did that have on the game? You know what? I don't think it had any effect. Um, we've been in some, some different venues. Um, we just treated it as a road game, you know, and, and anytime we get on the road and it gets loud like that, I think playing in the Big Ten helps you in these type of situations. But I, I don't think it, it had really any effect. And Rob's sophomore year, we played Washington and Portland and were able to beat them in, in this round. And, um, you know, you got to make shots, you got to make plays, but I, I don't think it um, had any effect in the outcome of the game. Coach Sandy uh, played 16 minutes, six rebounds tonight. I know he's played in some games this year, uh, big games, but not on this stage and, and that big of a role. Just talk about what he got or what you got from him tonight. Right. I, I thought he was great. You know, I, I thought um, you know, we brought him in to for have a big body in this game where we thought we needed to establish that inside presence on the defensive end and, and rebound the basketball. You know, obviously, um, you know, they still out rebounding us, but, but he really helped. He had a key rebound late in the game. Um, it, it could have been, you know, crucial for us if we could have made a couple more plays. But he did a great job.